in case you haven't noticed, this is an unboxing video. I mentioned at the beginning of the year what my goal was for 2021. I was going to get a Gibson Les Paul Custom. It is now June 7th as I'm recording this, and guess what this is? I know this is kind of a weird camera angle, but I'm trying to get it to where this will be actually captured. First of all, you got the nice black custom shop hard case. There's a tag here that says the COA is enclosed inside the case, which I would expect. So let's see if this guitar made it here safe. I'm gonna have to actually set this down so I don't slam it down by moving. Switch tip.
So we've got the COA warranty card built 511. There's the COA. So that is cool. Got the proper paperwork. This thing was built not even a month ago. Let's see. There's a Gibson custom little tag. And then there's a blank uh, switch plate, actually because on the customs they give you the custom shop switch plate so I guess if you wanted to change that out you could I don't know why you would and then you've got what the heck is that? oh, probably a truss tool you've got a nice desiccant in there You've got a little envelope with tape. I guess, wait a minute. Oh no, it's the keys for the case. So I just spent a good 20 minutes looking at this guitar. And it is weird. I mean, you'd expect the quality to be better but this is like super finely made, if that makes sense. The fret nibs are like perfect on this, and I've seen some ones that are questionable, but they are just about perfect on this. I mean, the way that the finish is scraped up the binding even up against the body is like perfect I mean I've seen and played and owned a lot of Gibson USA guitars and none of them were what I would call perfect in that aspect I just kind of figured they were all like that this is like the only Gibson that I've ever owned definitely that is this flawless I would almost find it hard to believe except for the fact that the switch is not quite straight. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not quite straight 90 degrees. So, I am now going to do the sacrilegious thing. First of all, take a look at this. Now I'm going to take the pick guard off. You know, at first, when I opened this, the, the nitro smell was not all that strong in the sense that it didn't have that, like, real overpowering sweet scent to it, but now that I've been holding this for the past 25-30 minutes, it's definitely giving me those nitro fumes a lot more than when I first opened the case. 
oddly enough. Um, but there it is, no pick guard. So this is how I will play it because I don't like Les Paul pick guards. There's no point in having them where they are actually located. Um, so now it is officially modified and ready to go. One thing that I'm noticing right off the bat between this guitar and the Gibson USA models is that this has a very much more traditionally sized strap peg on it. So it shouldn't really be an issue, but it's worth pointing out. It's never gonna come across on camera, but the actual like inlay work on the headstock, the overall sort of fret work and everything with this, Everything is real heavy on this. It's definitely got the uh, the good old fashioned pots and not just a PCB system, which, you know, nothing horribly against that, but there's certainly a feel of a nice heavy pot that you have here. It's got a nice heavy switch. You've got a metal switch plate. Everything's tight. Just making sure that there's no loose nuts on this thing since it just shipped, but there's not. This has really low action. I mean, like, really low action. Normally, every Gibson I get, I lower the bridge. to actually raise it on this. Well, maybe. I mean, I could... <laughs> I can't believe how low the action is on this. It's like just... It's like touch level. I mean, it's like... You know, I wasn't going to actually play this tonight because I was really exhausted all day, but now I think I might actually play it. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this probably rather boring video where I unboxed and just looked at my dream guitar that I finally now own. White Gibson Les Paul Custom. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.